Welcome back to Morning Musings. My name is Don K. Preston, and I'm the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma, enjoying a great cup of coffee this morning. And we are continuing our discussion of the already but the not yet motif that is found throughout the New Testament with regard to so many, many eschatological elements. The already but not yet means that the biblical writers or Jesus spoke of things, things of the end times, as if they were already a reality and then spoke of them later as if they had not yet come into full reality. However, this is critical, they invariably place, posit, that not yet in their very near future. They never extrapolate it 2,000, 3,000, or thousands of years in their future. This is absolutely critical. And this is what's troubled commentators for centuries. Well, we've already talked about the resurrection being an already, but a not yet. As a direct corollary to that, is the motif of the harvest. And we took a look in the last segment, Matthew chapter 3, in which John spoke of Jesus and his coming, and he said his winnowing fork is already in his hand. And I pointed out this is a harvest imagery. Now what I did not point out, and probably should have done so, and this is fascinating, the winnowing fork is the image of the completion of the harvest. <clears throat> the winnowing fork, the winnowing fan, as some translations give it, is that instrument that they use after the wheat had been carried or gathered out of the fields. It is now put on the threshing floor and they take the fan and they scoop up the grain and they toss it into the air to separate the wheat from the chaff, the wheat from the tares. So, the winnowing fork, the winnowing fan, is not an image, as I may have suggested, but if I did, I need to correct that. It is not an image of the beginning of the harvest per se. Now, what it says is that the time of the harvest is absolutely here, but the winnowing fork itself, from a purely historical, cultural, contextual setting, the winnowing fork is an image that the harvest has taken place. So when John says his, Christ, winnowing fork is already in his hand, it says that the time of the harvest has absolutely arrived, and that's in John's day. Now, that demands that the initiation of the harvest was about to begin, because after all, if the consummation is near, guess what? The initiation of the harvest is about to take place as well. So I wanted to I wanted to bring home this really, really critical, this powerful, this undeniable reality of the imagery of Matthew chapter 3 and John's reference to Jesus. When he said his winnowing fork is already in his hand, there could not be a more powerful declaration Number one, that the consummation of the harvest was not far off. Number two, the, the initiation, therefore, of the harvest was at hand, which means that the initiation or that the already but the not yet was very much in John's mind. And number three, <clears throat> since the harvest is the resurrection Without any doubt whatsoever, according to Matthew chapter 13, harvest is at the end of this age, coming of the Son of Man, gathering of the wheat, gathering of the tares, just like Matthew chapter 3, wheat and tares. So once again, 
in Matthew chapter 3, we have a powerful declaration of the already but the not yet of harvest, that is to say, the already but the not yet of resurrection that absolutely demands consummation was at hand. You see, this fits perfectly what Jesus said in John chapter 4. Do you not say to yourselves, there are yet four months and then the harvest? I Verily I say unto you, lift up your eyes for the fields are already white unto harvest. Now, this is a teaser. Jesus was saying in very powerful ways that the time of the, for the harvest to begin was present. The time for the consummation of Israel's festival calendar. The fulfillment of the Feast of Harvest which was the feast that represented, foreshadowed, and typified the resurrection. The time for that fulfillment was at hand. And what did Jesus say? The fields are already ripe unto harvest. Here is the already and the imminent not yet of harvest in fulfillment of God's promises to Old Covenant Israel. Hey, thanks so much for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings, and we'll talk about John 4, 35 and the harvest on the flip side. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you then.